go as planned. In this video, we're going to be comparing the Viking Performance Chalk to my 10-year-old Bucket of Chalk. Hi, my name is Dr. Eric St. Tonge, and yes, you heard that right. We're going to be comparing Viking Performance Chalk to chalk I've literally had for the last 10 years inside of this bucket. It's been in the garage, heat cold, heat cold, so there's probably a lot of moisture in this thing. But regardless, my friends made fun of me for having really old chalk and using that old chalk, and maybe that's one of the reasons why I can't really you know, chalk my kettlebell that handles really well anymore. So I went ahead and I bought Viking Performance Chalk because it was recommended to me. And I like to compare things, I like to test things as best I can. So yeah, just a quick disclaimer, just to clarify, I bought this chalk completely with my own money. Viking Performance Chalk did not ask me to do this review, nor did they send me any free product. All right, back to the video. So what we're gonna be doing is doing an in-depth review of this kettlebell chalk. So what we're going to be doing to compare these two chalks is that I'm going to be doing a snatch set with a 20 kilogram kettlebell two days apart. So today I'm going to be doing snatch set with my old chalk, tomorrow with the Viking chalk, probably five or six minute sets. I'm going to make sure that I do the exact same number of reps per hand to keep things fairly consistent. I'm going to be wearing the same pair of shorts as well because we all know as we snatch, we, you know, the handles touch the, the shorts too. So we'll try to keep things as consistent as I can anyways. So I'm going to be grading these two chalks on three different things. How long it takes me to chop the kettlebell handle, how durable it is. So we're going to be looking on how much chalk is still left on my hands and on the kettlebell handle at the end of the set and my general impression on how sticky I find the chalk to be. So this is the kettlebell handle, as you can see, nothing on it. It's an old Agatsu 20 kilo. So when I'm chalking the handle of the kettlebell, I'm not using any water either, it's just pure friction. And commence. <sighs> yeah, okay, new rule. I'm imposing a 15 minute time limit because just trying this thing, I'm making zero progress, but I'll just show you what it looks like right now. Not the greatest chalk job by any means, but there's still some on there. Eh. That's how much I had to actually use. So that's a decent amount in there as well. All right, so here's how it looks before. All right, so this is how it looks after. So there's definitely some worn down on top of my palm. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now remember that this wasn't very well chalked to begin with because well, let's face it, it was taking me way too long. My daughter's about to wake up. It still felt pretty sticky, so to speak. Like, I didn't feel like I was going to lose a kettlebell at any point in time. I'd say general stickiness, it was pretty good. The durability, well, you saw how it kind of wore down on the palm of my hands. So we'll take that into consideration there. Also, the wear of the chalk on the kettlebell handle, didn't really notice too much of a difference there. And the last thing, just ease of chalking the kettlebell handle. I was going at it for 15 minutes, wasn't making any progress whatsoever. I kind of had to call it at that point because it's getting late in the morning and my daughter's about to wake up and she's got to go to daycare so I can't really spend all morning chalking this damn kettlebell. So that's it for this morning. We'll see you again tomorrow morning. 2,000 years later. All right, so it's not the next day. It's more like a little over a week later. I got 
after I, I, I recorded that first video, I got pretty sick and really didn't do anything the rest of that week. But, but I'm back now and I have time to finish this review. So we're going to open up the Viking Performance Chalk. It's a brand new bag. I've not yet opened it at all. So let's see how long it takes to actually chalk this kettlebell. It's always a great feeling. I'm actually going to... Uh, Wish it was already in this powdered form. Hey, good enough. Night and day comparison already. I mean, this just took me five minutes as opposed to the other time when it was 15 minutes and I just gave up at that point. <laughs> so it really took me a third of the time to chop this kettlebell, which is fantastic. I mean, if you look at it too, it's just so much better than the last chalk job. Did not have to use nearly as much chalk as well. Now onto the snatch set. I'm gonna chalk up with the Viking. Okay, so here we go. So five minutes set, about 18 RPM. Focus on my face. During that whole set, the little autofocus box on my screen was pointed to my stability ball. So I have no idea if that was in focus or not, but my stability ball probably was in spectacular focus. All right, so now let's look at the kettlebell itself. So that's just a little bit of blood that came off my hand. I already had a cut on this palm here, so don't worry about that, but Look underneath. So this is somewhere kind of all the way off where I was really holding the kettlebell there. Yeah, come on. And there's somewhere there. Is it perfect? No. Is there still most of the chalk on there? Yeah. Alright, so. What did I think about the Viking chalk? Hands down, way better than my old chalk that I've been using for the last 10 years. Yes, it's probably due to the fact that it is old and maybe that's one of the reasons why it's just not sticking quite as well, but chatting with uh, some of my friends who have used some cheaper chalk, it just has that, that feeling, like it, it has like a damp feeling, so to speak. But when I tried the Viking chalk, it had a very dry feeling, which is what you want in a chalk. You want more friction, you want that dry feeling. Looking over some of the before and after pictures of my hands, you can definitely see on the Viking chalk that it is a lot more durable. There's a lot more chalk left on the palms of my hand versus my old chalk. Also with regards to durability, now you can look at the kettlebell handle with the old chalk. You can see it's still not quite as durable on there. You can see a lot more wearing off on the kettlebell handle. And quite frankly, you can still see some of that with the Viking chalk as well. But the fact that I stayed a little bit more on my, the palm of my hands makes me a little bit more comfortable with I'm tackling a very long set. For me, most importantly, is the time it takes to chalk the kettlebell properly. Now, I train first thing in the morning and I have maybe like an hour and a half window before my daughter wakes up and, you know, kind of had to make breakfast for her and all that stuff. So really, I can't spend a lot of time training so i have to be in and out as quickly and as efficiently as i can be so just the sheer fact that i was able to chalk the handle in five minutes versus giving up at 15 minutes with a really poorly chalked handle is worth the price alone let's face it if i were to do long cycle and i need to chalk two kettlebell handles it would take me what half an hour with the old chalk or 10 minutes with the new chalk it's just a no-brainer when it comes to that point now when it comes to price yeah, sure, Viking chalk is gonna be a little bit more expensive than your cheaper chalk, but there is that saying, when you buy a cheap product, you buy twice. When it comes to quality, and that's regardless of the quality of chalk or quality of service that you get from 
wherever, quality will always cost more. For you, is the value that you get from that product or service worth more than the cost you pay? For me, in this case, for the Viking Chalk, the fact that just for the sheer fact that I save time alone is worth that price. So if you like this video, please give me a like, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.